Metal drip edge is applied to the deck, which is then covered by an ice and water membrane overlapping the eave edge by three quarters of an inch. A metal W or V valley is placed over the 36 inch wide ice and water membrane applied in the valley. Apply an approved synthetic field underlayment to the deck area, leaving a four inch headlap and six inch side lap on the ice and water membrane at the eave and valleys. Apply the starter strip to the eave and valley with a continuous bead of sealant applied to the underside, taking care to keep nails to the outside of the valley. Apply the first course of field panels at the eave edge, keeping the butt edge flush with the starter strip bottom edge and ensuring that the panel is a minimum of five inches from the starter strip panel joint in the course below. Place 10 nails per panel where indicated by an X, taking care to drive them straight and flush with the panel surface. At this time, press each panel section down firmly at the butt edge so the factory applied adhesive makes full contact with the course below. Do this before moving on to the next panel in the course. The raised nibs on the back of the panel rest on the top edge of the course below to set the horizontal alignment and the side tabs and slots set the spacing between panels. Follow the specific layout pattern found at the back of the installation guide that corresponds to the mold number stamped on the front of the panel. In this example, it is mold number 19 and 20. The panels are installed in a brick pattern such that the individual keyways on each course are centered over the individual slate panel sections in the course below as you move up the roof. Apply a bead of caulk on the top of the starter strip in the valley as each course is applied, such that there is a continuous bead from eave to the top of the valley. The starter strip and field panels overhang the rake edge on gable ends by three quarters of an inch. Use 3 inch deck type screws, 4 per cap, attached in the location shown in the installation guide. Apply a dab of Eurashield sealant to the underside of both hip and ridge end caps and then place a 2 inch brad nail through the first cap and sealant on both sides. This will provide additional protection against wind uplift. This concludes the installation video for Eurolite Slate. Thank you for watching. Please download and read the Eurolite Slate installation guide found at Euroshieldroofing.com for complete, detailed, step-by-step -step instructions. Always follow the layout pattern found at the back of this guide for the mold number marked on the front of the panel for the best installation results.